This went well tonight. You know, I know you're going to ask about Jonathan Wallace, so I'll just up front tell you uh, that I was really proud of the way, you know, really the last two days he's practiced. And, uh, you know, it's very important to him. And, uh, you know, he's really trying to work on, on improving his craft. And so it's been, uh, it's been fun to watch him out there. Uh, you know, he works a lot on his own. He comes in, puts some extra time in himself. Uh, it's really good to see him do that. And uh, so we've got, uh, we've got a few more days. And, you know, obviously our whole team, team needs that. But uh, it'll certainly be good for him to, you know, again, these next couple of days try to fine tune, fine -tune the game plan. But uh, overall, I thought it was good practice. How many more first-team reps with the whole offense is he getting now this week with the starter compared to the past week? He's getting, he's getting most of the first-team reps. I mean, he's getting a good bit. I mean, obviously, you know, much more than he has in the past. Is there anyone on that offensive unit, a lineman, a running back, a receiver, who he's leaning on as far as, you know, if something doesn't go well or advice, things like that? Well, I think the, the kind of the cool thing is that I think everybody's really kind of embraced you know, the challenge that he has. He's a young guy, he's a true freshman, uh, you know, in your first start. And I just think that, you know, as an offensive unit, well, you know, even our defensive guys, I think they really tried to encourage him and, and um, you know, really tried to help him. And, you know, I think, again, when you're in that spot and you are, you know, you're the new guy and it's your, it's your first challenge as a, as a true freshman, you know, you need those people rallying around you. And I've, I've been very proud of our team because I feel like everybody has really done that with him. I can't name just one guy. Mm -hmm. Gene, it seems that way for weeks. Then the comments that have been made by his teammates, Chad Slade, uh, uh, Demetrius McNeil said it weeks ago, about over a month ago. But any time we had spoken about Jonathan, it seemed that they were much more excited about him in comparison in relation to either Clint or Kyle. Was there ever a feeling of doing this earlier? Well, I, I can't really, you know, I don't really know how they felt in comparison. You know, I know that uh, what would be very fair to say is that, you know, from the day he stepped on this campus, and, you know, the day he stepped on the campus and, and kids got to know him and watched how important it was for him to learn football. And, you know, I'm sure that's a lot of the reason that he was very successful in high school because he puts in the time and it means a lot to him. It's very important. So. You know, I think guys recognize that, you know, very early on, uh, that he's going to work really hard at it, and he's going to do everything he can in his power to improve. Um, but, you know, again, our plan early on with him uh, was definitely feed young guys in doses. And so, uh, you know, it was, uh, of course, that'll be the question that'll be asked. Uh, but, you know, again, we're expecting Jonathan to go out there. We expect him to play well. And we expect him to, um, you know, we expect him to embrace the opportunity. But we also have to understand that, you know, in a game when you're the starter, there's going to be a lot of ebbs and flows in the game right now that aren't going to go perfect. And so, uh, you know, I think it's a little ambitious to think that, you know, it's going to be a miracle out there and he's not going to, you know, go through the ups and downs of being a starting quarterback, whether it's sacks or you know, just adversity that he's going to face. But I think that one thing that he's proven to everybody is that he is built for that. And he doesn't, um, up to this point, he's never given anybody any, any indication that, you know, that that's, that's too big for him or too much for him. So I think that people have seen that in him since he's been here. But quarterbacks still have to go through a progression of learning. And they have to go through, you know, they have to go through the process of, you know, learning the offense and executing it. And he's really improved just simply throwing the ball, uh, in my opinion. Just throwing the ball, I think he's really improved in that regard in the last, uh, you know, two to three weeks. You know, he's just seemed to have kind of arrived at a little bit more of a comfort level. So, uh, but again, it's going to be his first start, so there's going to be some ups and downs in the game. Have you ever worked with a quarterback like that before, either here, Iowa State, anywhere, who's that precocious as a true freshman? Uh, you know, he's a unique guy, you know, I mean, uh, Colt McCoy was similar to that in terms of just very driven and, you know, very, uh, you know, ambitious about, you know, being, being the best, uh, 
you know, some guys like that. But, uh, but again, I think he's a, he's a unique individual. You mentioned that he's gotten better throwing. Is that accuracy thing? Yeah, I think so. I think he's, he's really improved at throwing the deep ball. I think, you know, you saw that Saturday night. You know, I think his deep ball has improved. I think his accuracy has improved. And uh, I think that comes with, you know, taking reps and over time. You know, one of the things that I think has really helped him is that, you know, when we put our, uh, you know, when we put our second group against our first group, uh, in practice, where it's high speed, it's high intensity, you know, he's gotten a lot of those reps, and I think that's helped. Talk about that accuracy when you get into a game situation. This year, as well as last year, is that something that's been lacking in the offense, just being able to be efficient, you know, hit the target? Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any question that, it, you know, at times our accuracy has been suspect. You know, I don't think there's any doubt about that. And, uh, and, you know, I think that's something that he's improved on, you know, in practice. And I think, again, the other night you saw glimpses added in, you know, glimpses of it in the game as well. So, uh, again, it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds, you know, when it's, you know, it's his, it's his show from the beginning of the game. Uh, just thoughts and impressions on New Mexico State, kind of what they do, um, their personality. You know, uh, if you go back to the game last week, you know, they played Louisiana Tech very tough, 7-0 you know, at halftime. I think it's a team that record-wise, obviously, is, you know, not going to impress you. Uh, but when you look at the film and you watch how they've improved, uh, I think there's been significant improvement. I think offensively, they're well coached. Uh, I think conceptually, what they try to do, uh, uh, they've got a very good idea of what they want to do on offense. And, uh, and then defensively, you know, they play really, really hard. And, uh, you know, they've got, uh, they've got a couple of impact guys. You know, uh, they've got a defensive end that's a very, very good football player. Not that they don't have others, but he is um, you know, he's a guy that can disrupt the game. Uh, but they play really, really hard. And they, uh, you know, they're confident. And I think that they're, they're getting more confident. And I think last week is really a good example of that. they got some really good receivers. Uh, they can, you know, make some big explosive plays. Uh, and their quarterback, I think, you know, has gained confidence. They have a wildcat package that's very uh, effective. And um, so I think overall, you know, just conceptually they're good and they, they know what they want to do. So on the death chart that uh, Trevante has taken over the slot receiver role from Quan at this point? Or? Well, you know, we've rotated those guys up and, um, you know, I think that in terms of playing time, I wouldn't really read a whole lot into that because they rotate in there so much. Uh, but Trevante's really, uh, he's, he's done a great job for us. You know, he's, he's a guy that's, that does a lot of the dirty work blocking on the perimeter. Uh, and, uh, you know, so they'll all rotate in. Uh, but Tre Trevante's really, you know, he's really done a nice job. How's Clinton doing? Uh... I would say that uh, you know, as the week goes on, you know, potentially we'll have to look and see, you know, what, you know, really what his status is. You know, right now, I mean, he didn't do much tonight. What his status is for this week? Or Just in terms of his injury. For the season or for the game? Yes. Going back to job. Some of his teammates gave us a little antidote yesterday about how. Gave you a what? A little antidote okay. yesterday about how the day after he fumbled against Vanderbilt, he went straight to the blasters. He, um, all day was really kind of working on that. Are you aware of that? And if so, when you see that as a coach, what, that that kind of dedication for the young guy, you didn't even lose the fumble. How do you react to that? What goes through your mind? Uh, yes, we were all very aware of it because he was out there doing it basically in his own clothes. You know, and. Um, you get a guy that didn't perform, you know, like he wanted to, and then he comes out on his day off, and he didn't know anybody was watching. You know, then he goes out there and does that. I think that really pretty much, um, I think that tells the story, you know, on who he is. Anything else? Injury updates on uh, D. Ford, Whitaker. Uh, D is, I think, improving. 
uh, as the days go on. I feel like he is. Jeff is uh, Jeff is slower. Do not anticipate. Don't know for sure. We'll look at more at the end of the week, but uh, don't anticipate him playing uh, this week. So his is a little bit slower in terms of you know recovery. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.